chef is a chief or the head of the kitchen? person producing good food out of good ingredients. He's somebody who knows how to make sauces from scratch. The chef is someone who, who would come up with a dish. Who is basically cooking for a profession. Willing to experiment. Pwede siyang creator. Someone who's very creative. Pwede inventor. Definitely loves food. Making it um, taste good. Is a cuisinera in the kitchen. Kim nanti kems malakas kumain. Somebody who's very interested in food. He has that discipline. Cuisinero, cook, chef. They are given different titles, but only one objective: to serve good food. Now, enough experience in front of the stove and a good sense of taste used to be the only requirements for you to serve excellent cuisine. But these days, it takes more than that to become a chef. Science and art have come into play, and not to mention expensive tuition fees. I'm Chef Fernando Aracama. Join me for an hour as we dig deep, not into cookbooks, but into the real pages of the lives of the real chefs. Food plays a major role in the Filipino culture, taking center stage to our small. Perhaps to our hospitable nature, we enjoy the preparation and service of as much as my daily meal. Food in Pinoy culture. chef is a chief or the head of the kitchen? person producing good food out of good ingredients. He's somebody who knows how to make sauces from scratch. The chef is someone who, who would come up with a dish. Who is basically cooking for a profession. Willing to experiment. Pwede siyang creator. Someone who's very creative. Pwede inventor. Definitely loves food. Making it um, taste good. Is a cuisinera in the kitchen. Kim nanti kems malakas kumain. Somebody who's very interested in food. He has that discipline. Cuisinero, cook, chef. They are given different titles, but only one objective: to serve good food. Now, enough experience in front of the stove and a good sense of taste used to be the only requirements for you to serve excellent cuisine. But these days, it takes more than that to become a chef. Science and art have come into play, and not to mention expensive tuition fees. I'm Chef Fernando Aracama. Join me for an hour as we dig deep, not into cookbooks, but into the real pages of the lives of the real chefs. Food plays a major role in the Filipino culture, taking center stage during occasions big or small. Due perhaps to our hospitable nature, we enjoy the preparation and service of food as much as partaking the meal, often making the kitchen nearly, if not more, popular than the dining area. Food in Pinoy culture is the centerpiece of the national lifestyle. We can do without it. Every, every little occasion we have food. For everyone, it's a necessity. Uh, we have to eat in order to survive. The relationship of the family evolves around the food. Something that brings people together. More than just a necessity for life, we have made a tradition out of cooking. A reason behind get-togethers, a sign of gratitude, a symbol of celebration. We serve a lot of dishes during celebrations because of our Malay character of feasting. And we love to eat. We love to explore are sometimes not content in one dish. We have an array of good dishes around. So basically, they love to see different types of food on the table, to enjoy it. We love to see new things, taste. These are all parts of the Maharlika feeling of hosting. It's a way of socializing also with other people. Fiestas, birthdays, inyag, Casal, picnics, or simple salo salo. Food bonds friends and kin. From barbecue and saucy entrees to fried fish and multi recipe gourmet dishes, we really enjoy food. 
we really derive joy from eating. Why do we serve so many dishes? So it's a big part of our culture. Because we are a colonized country by Spain. Spain also has all these tapas. You know, it's one spread. Because the Philippines started to become a, 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 a melting pot of cultures and cuisines. Food is parang a showcase for them, eh? for the Filipinos. It's a showcase for us. It tells you our hospitality. That's how they show it. Yung sa dami ng pagkain. That's why we we have so much food because we have different specialties from if each provinces. Tagaluto sa bahay, kusineros in karinderias, cooks in small restaurants, and chefs in huge restaurants and hotels. Street food, expensive meals and fine dining restaurants. Different strokes for different folks, but all for good food. Street food is the authentic preparation of what food should be. I think Filipinos, they love a quick bite also. That's why it's there. Hotel food is, as I always see it, um, they always offer food in terms of major uppity, upscale, um, presentation of the traditional. And as Filipinos, we love to try things that are not were familiar with. Our desire for good food changes everything. The hobby is now a profession, a career. Being a chef is fast becoming an in-demand, high-paying job. The demand for good chefs has been increasing because the industry is being professionalized. Eh? The chef is a very glorified uh, statement for someone who does cooking. Because they feel that the, the being a chef is a very glamorous job. And it's not always being, a, you know, it's always a glamorous, not always a glamorous job. Because when you're on TV, that's when you become a little bit glamorous. You see everybody's, fa you know, this famous chef's faces on, on pr in print. And it makes them famous. There is demand in Australia looking for more chefs because there are so many restaurants opening. And recently, its steady rise as a profession cannot be ignored. The demand for professional chefs in hotels and restaurants has been met with the opening of numerous local culinary schools with world-class standards, boasting of industry stalwarts at the helm, and partnerships with colleges abroad. With culinary education being accessible to many, competition in the business has become tougher than usual. With these resources readily available, many have the opportunity to vie for the title of chef. Though many attempt, only a few can last. Contrary to contemporary popular belief, being a chef is not all glam. Kitchen work involves long hours of standing, exposure to extreme temperatures, walking on slippery floors, handling hot pots and pans, and toiling when the rest of town is winding down for a meal. I think the challenge is more of coming up with something of quality, and especially if you can go beyond the standard. Sometimes ingredients, sometimes the heat in the kitchen, sometimes, you know, you get cuts and bruises, you know, uh, difficulties, of course, uh, customers' complaints. Uh, there's a lot of things involved, you know, uh, dealing with personnel. Being a chef is slave work. Being in the kitchen is very critical. Uh, critical in a way that the, the food that you serve, it has to be uh, uh, safe, uh, the sanitation part. Uh, a lot of things are involved, especially in an operation where your restaurant is busy. Uh, everything is going all at the same time. So, uh, but it's fun. It's fun to be in the kitchen. I enjoy being in the kitchen. But satisfaction and fulfillment of unspeakable proportions can be derived from diners wanting a taste of one's creations, packed reservation books, and empty plates returning to the kitchen. All these, alongside the occasional mention in the news and words of appreciation from guests, are enough to make any foodie work at being worthy of donning a toque. Being as a chef, fulfillment is when a customer comes to you and says, thank you, that was a great meal. Uh, I enjoy my, my meal, and then the next thing is when you see them come back. I, it makes me happy and alive when I see somebody enjoying my food. Cooking is as much of a science 
as it is an art, driven by passion and made stronger by experience. And each day in the life of a chef is never dull. Every meal hour brings unsurpassed excitement and surprises. I would say both. It's a science and it's an art. It's both science and art. Both science and art because... There's a fixed ingredients that you have to do for certain amount of another ingredient. So it's a science. It's a balance. Science, because basically it's uh, chemistry. All the reactions, uh, mga chemical reactions, ganyan, it can be explained by science. In terms of uh, balance, um, knowing how an ingredient affects the other. So I can develop that smell and taste together and it could uh, blend in. And of course, the art is how you mix it, how you present it. It's an art because when you design a plate, uh, it could be something that sometimes you don't even want to touch because it's so beautiful that the construction, the way it was done, it it's, seems like architect or interior designer can only do it. An art because you can uh, show your style doing food, especially with plating, how you combine different ingredients, how you work with your tastes and all those things. Uh, it is art to a certain extent because uh, it's very rare that a chef becomes an artist, eh, parang acts as an artist. So it should be both. Kung kulang yung isa, kulang din yung total look and total taste. Their headquarters, the kitchen, varies in size and layout depending on the volume of customers that the restaurant caters to. The extent of the menu also determines kitchen specs. Each chef has his own preferred configuration of his comfort zone and a system that he has honed and tested through the years. Each chef's vision for himself and the industry is unique. My ideal kitchen, you know, it doesn't have to be very expensive. Of course, uh, having ni a nice setup is nice. It's good. It's great. Kaya lang, it becomes very expensive. When you have a kitchen, as long as you have a functioning stove, a good refrigerator, a big working table, shelving, and all the gadgets and pots and pans that I need, I'm all good. There's enough space uh, to work on. Uh, you have a good stove that can achieve high heat. I'm not expecting a very high-tech kitchen. I would rather have a homey kitchen to feel like comfortable even if I'm working. visited six chefs. Aside from the fulfillment of the daily grind, the chef's careers get a shot in the arm with the occasional challenges in the form of competitions. Now these serve to test their skills and their creativity. It's a venue to showcase their talent, to share what they know, and to prove their worth. The HOFEX 2007 and the Hong Kong International Culinary Classics is one such challenge. It was the perfect opportunity to place the Pinoy culinary talent side by side with those from other countries. Now our six chefs with their collective experiences were chosen to show the rest of the world the level of talent that we have in our kitchens. Carrying with them years of experience, the Philippine culinary team set off on their mission. Nagsimula ako as a committee helper. Nagsimula ako na apprentice talaga ako nun eh. I am an accidental chef. I started as a butcher. He told me to go to the Culinary Institute of America if I wanted to pursue this. And a month later, that's what I did. So that's where it started. Regular routine here is because we stay upstairs eh. This is the ancestral home of my in-laws eh. When uh, um, my father-in-law, Lolo Dads, passed away, we converted it into a restaurant. And because my wife is also a chef, she takes care of the, the pastry. In the morning, I have to check the, the kitchen. I have to see what's, uh, what I need to, to purchase for the day. And then, uh, doing the preparation for lunch and dinner. I cook at home, not always. Yes, I'm very strict in the kitchen. Um, there's only one way, and that's the proper way for me. The, the day starts, again, with organization. Um, you have to find out. Uh, we have a, 
a list of deliveries. So we map out where it has to go. So yung rota niya, di ba? Para pinakasimple, pinakamabilis. Um, with morning deliveries, with afternoon deliveries. So again, organizing downstairs. Kasi dumating ako sa point na kahit nasa bahay ako, nag-iisip ako. Dumating ako sa point na nananag, napapanaginipan ko na yung trabaho ko. Dumating ako sa point na iniisip ko na pagdating ko, ano dadatnan ko. Assistant na ako ng Chef Boy. Checking ko yung mga ibinili niya sa akin. Checking ko agad yung function. Kung ano yung unang i-out na function. Kung ano yung para kinabukasan na imi-missing class ko. Siyempre, binibili na ko sila kung ano yung mga dapat nilang gawin. Para pagdating ng kinabukasan, kumpleto, hindi ako papagalitan ni Chef Boy. Ang typical day ko pagdating ko doon. Ganyan, batihin ko yung mga staff ko. Good morning, ganyan. O ayos ba kayo dyan? Tapos magbabasa na ako ng mga function sheet. Tapos titignan ko yung mga kitchen transfer namin. Transfer. Chinecheck ko yun. Tapos isasubmit ko sa chef's office. Balik na naman ako sa trabaho. Tapos mag-work na ako. Ganyan. 700 entries. 10 countries. 6 Filipino chefs. 1 objective. Victory. Competing in a variety of categories, almost every country in Asia had an entry in the Hong Kong International Culinary Classics. The different corners of the globe were well represented by the international judges who flew in from France, Austria, the USA, Australia, Singapore, Thailand, Indonesia, and Malaysia. Needless to say, it was a very prestigious event that the Philippines was privileged to be a part of, sending no less than the best of the best that the Pinoy Kitchen can offer. I would like to join the Gourmet Challenge uh, category. Sa seafood lang kasi ako eh. Ang special ko talaga yung sa cold, cold appetizer. Sumali ako sa chicken category. An ideal team should have the right mix of talent and experience to balance the expertise and biases. And the country's bet, the Letok Blanche Philippines culinary team of six accomplished chefs, lauded by their peers and respected in the business, is exactly that. Chef Ariel and I, you know, made a commitment to, to have the team and to compete in Hong Kong. I have to trust myself. Eh. Nagpatawag sila ng meeting. Sila Ariel, sila Chef Jay, sila Chef Ariel na in which uh, meron daw silang form na isang group na sasali sa Hong Kong. O sige, kako, pupunta ako dyan. When, uh, when Ariel, our team captain, called me and invited me to be a part of this team, I was very excited because I had never really been involved in a team competition before. Kinausap ako ni Chef Boy, ng chef ko. Ewan ko kung bakit ako yung napili niya. Siguro, Siguro dahil sa body-body kami sa kitchen. Tumawag siya sa akin si Ariel. Ariel Manuel ng Lolo Dads na magkakaroon nga ng ano, magbubu siya na ng team para sa Hong Kong. Natuwa ako ah. Natuwa talaga ako na sabi ko masaya ang pakiramdam ko kasi first time ko ah. Saka ako yung pinakabago. Um, I think Ariel chose them because he, uh, he knew each of them personally and has worked with each of them personally at some point in his career and uh, knows that you know they're very capable, talented, and skillful chefs. That's why he chose them. Coming from different backgrounds with talent backed by years of experience and training, each chef contributed a unique set of skills and level of creativity to the group. With their united passion for the culinary arts and devotion to their craft, the team was no less than a dream come true. Seek and you shall find, and that's what exactly happened. A formidable team of a remarkable combination was formed with chefs Jay, Ariel, Arnold, Boy, Tony, and Buddy. And these chefs had the winning formula. The Litok Blanche Philippines culinary team set out on an adventure. Masaya, very exciting. A gastronomic challenge. Stressful. Nakakaba. Nakakapagod din. An experience of a lifetime. Hindi ko akalaing mapapasama ako dyan sa team na yan. Papasalamat ako na nasama ako sa grupong sa Philippine team. For the love of good food, yung lasa, kailangan uh, perfect, delicious, and beautiful 
can be easily appreciated by anybody. And for the pride of the country, Kinakailangan mag-live up ka dun sa expectation ng nasa Manila. This is their story. Before we get the lowdown on what our team had to go through, let's get to know each of them better. The Litok Blanche Philippines culinary team is headed by Chef Ariel Manuel, possibly the most bemedaled Filipino chef. He was a young, self-supporting architecture major working in Hyatt Regency, Manila, when he developed a fascination for the culinary arts. From uh, merely watching uh, from a glass window of a um, uh, uh, hotel kitchen, I even volunteered to help them in the operation, in the preparation. So that's where it all started. Chef Jay Gamboa holds a degree from the University of Massachusetts at Amherst and earned his kitchen expertise from the Culinary Institute of America in Hyde Park. He received the Bon Lac Great Chefs of Asia Award for the Philippines in 1996. He is currently the executive chef of Circulo and Milky Way restaurants in Makati and is a very active director of Litok Blanche Philippines. I've had the privilege to judge uh, cooking competitions in uh, Baguio, Cebu, Cagayan de Oro, Malaysia, and even Singapore. Chef Boitimola began his journey down the culinary road in the 80s. He worked his way up to the position of a demi-chef in the cold kitchen before moving to the Dubai Sheraton Hotel as a chef de parte. 1990, bumalik ako ng Manila, nag-apply ako sa Mandarin as a demi-chef. Tapos, na mga ilang two, two, two months lang, ginawa akong chef de party. 2002, nag-resign ako, nag, sinubukan ko mag-cruise sa barko. And then, after seven months, bumalik ulit ako, hinired ulit ako ng Makati siya ngayon. Chef Arnold Guevara is a civil engineer who chose to pursue a career in the culinary industry. In his 14 years in the business, Chef Arnold is proud of earning the title of Mandarin Oriental Manila's Model Supervisor of the Year in 2002. He also treasures his award of gold with distinction from the seafood platter category of Chefs on Parade 1998 and 2002. Started as a butcher and then after four years, napunta ako ng cold kitchen and then after four years, napunta ako ng tibuli and then nagpunta ako ng paseo and then nagpunta uli ako ng tibuli. Chef Tony Blesa was part of the pioneer team of the Shangri-La Makati. He has trained in the hotel's various kitchens, including the Thai outlet kitchen, the pastry kitchen, the coffee shop kitchen, the cold kitchen, and the butchery. He received further lessons from Shangri-La Academy in Beijing, China. 13 years na ako rito sa Makati Shangri-La. Ako yung nag-food promotion sa Taiwan, kasama ko si Chef Jin. Tapos yung mga competition na sinalihang ko sa mga COP, sa World Trade, Tapos ako yung isa sa pinadala sa Shangri-La Academy ng Shangri-La. Tapos pinadala ako sa Cebu para mag palabas na sa summit, appetizer. Chef Buddy Trinidad earned his diploma in professional baking from the Los Angeles Trade Technical Institute in 1998. Later, he completed a professional course in pastry and chocolate in the renowned Ecole du Grand Chocolat Valrona in L'Hermitage, France. After 14 years of working in different restaurants, uh, hotels and restaurants in, in the U.S., uh, namely Michael's, which was, which was uh, consistently one of the top 50 restaurants of the U.S., I worked at Michael's, uh, Noa Noa in Beverly Hills, um, the Peninsula also, um, and at Morton's in West Hollywood, I decided to come home to the Philippines in 1999. Carrying with them years of experience, the Philippine culinary team set off on their mission.
the Philippine culinary team participated in four individual live cooking competitions. Each competitor was assigned his own mini kitchen and had to work while the audience and the judges watched their every move. Chef Arnold Guevara of the Mandarin Oriental Manila represented the Philippine team in the Western Cuisine Professional Red Mullet and Prawns Live Cooking Competition, where the participants were allotted 75 minutes to whip up one main course using red mullet and prawns as the main ingredients. Nagmisin plus ako kahit dun sa kama ko sa tulugan, especially no the day before nung competition, yung missing plus ko, nilatag ko isa-isa sa, sa kama ko. Para, para ko lang masiguro na kompleto yung items na kailangan ko. Kasi ayoko kasi yung nagahabol na, oh bukas na yan. The day before, medyo stress. Pero nung nasa competition na ako, wala na. Kumbaga, handa ako. Na-practice ko yun eh. Ito lang ilalabas ko, alam ko yan, nagawa ko na yan, uulitin ko na lang. So, wala akong masyadong kaba nun. Kung, kung makakuha man ako ng anything, makakuha ako ng silver, bronze, anything, or wala akong makuha, at least, I did my best. 